TV, where we are continuing the winter theme. Yes? Because it's yes. cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside, <laughs> as they say. Uh, oh, yeah. At Widmer Brothers, who were kind enough to uh, contact me and send me their, uh, their offering to winter, uh, winter beers, the seasonal ale there, Burr, the Widmer Brothers Burr, out of Portland, Oregon. And Owen Ogletree is back with us on this episode, as well as John Pinkerton, as always. Pose, keep posing. Right. Good. Excellent. Hold it. Hold it. And hold uh, it. close up. So they were kind enough to uh, to send me some of these, uh, to send me some burrs, and uh, so we're going to talk about them. And just so happens that yeah. you were there. You right. know a little right. bit about them. Right. I was there. It's it's an amazing success story for craft beer in the United States. The Widmer brothers uh, back in the '80s were home brewers, and you know the standard story of if, if you're a, a great cook, everyone says you should open a restaurant. They were great. They were such good home brewers that people said, well, you guys should really open a brewery. And so one day they got crazy enough to open a brewery, and they did it. And they were making a wheat beer, which was pretty successful. Mm -hmm. But there was one pub in Portland who said, it's so successful, I need for you to make another beer for us. And so they said, well, we don't have tank space or whatever to make another beer. So we're just going to make you a, give you an unfiltered version of our wheat beer. Uh, and, and it had so much yeast in it, it was just murky and and the guy would stir up the, the kegs and rock the kegs every day and pour the beers. And he would walk around the pub with these Widmer Hefeweizens on a tray that were just cloudy as could be and they had lemon in them. And pe he would walk around and people would see these beers and go, what's that, what's that, what's that? And everyone would order one. And it, it, just, it just took off and, from and, there. And, so. and when you say crazy enough, really in 1984, uh, craft beer, isn't what it is today, you no. know? I mean, it's, no. it's sort of like the whole green movement that's going on, you know? When you say, oh, geez, 2002, well, you know, it was green, you know? I mean, it, things happened fast, and these guys got into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's definitely one of those time and place kind of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a time in the craft brewing movement where it was one of those build it and they will come kind of deals. Sure. Yeah. I'm not sure that's really the case now. Yeah. It definitely takes a lot more effort and certainly more expertise, I think. I, yeah. I think uh, people that come into this game not knowing what yeah. they're doing, but wouldn't you say in 1984 it was even a bigger risk? I mean, today there's oh, stiff right. competition. I mean, you brew great beers, but it's like yeah, not, not, it, that doesn't always equal. Yeah, it's you know. sort of like it kind of hit its peak in the early 90s and mm -hmm. uh, or mid 90s and then kind of right. Well, this is their this is their first winter offering in four years, uh, and it's a gift. And the beauty, the, the funny little thing about it is, it's got one of those little funny little gift things uh, on there. Dave, grab that. Can you put that right up to the way? You oh, know, the like you put tag. on your uh, yeah, little gift tag. Isn't that nice? To you from, from Robin Kurt. Yeah, exactly. So it's nice. See, they put Very some thought nice. into it. So it's their gift to us, the Widmer Burr. And so, by golly, we're gonna open it. And, oh, and David, yes, thank you. Now this one actually has some hops to it. Yeah. It smells Definitely. really nice. I mean, citrusy, yeah. mm -hmm. hoppy, fruity. Not as malty Ooh. as a lot of winter beers and aromas as, as you would think. I'm getting in my average palate, uh, my uneducated palate. I'm getting a nice balance of, of the maltness and the hoppiness. Yes? No? Are you yeah, tasting? I mean, the hoppiness comes uh, through. It's actually fairly full body. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily. It's not a big beer, I don't right. think. I no, mean, uh, I wouldn't know. But it's uh, very well balanced. It definitely has a nice kind of round malt mm -hmm. undertone. But those hops are just kind of like, uh, not, not over the top with it, but just uh, very present. It has a really nice caramel malt note yep. balanced okay. by good Northwestern citrusy hops. I believe there are, caramel, uh, there are chocolate malts in this as well. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Mm. And caramelized malts are actually converted into sugar inside the husk and then they're roasted down to where they turn into kind of a caramel flavor and color. And chocolate malt is just slightly burnt, so it gives a nice char chocolate dark flavor. Basically, caramel malt that's taken to that, that higher level, right. the way I understand chocolate mm -hmm. malt. Of course, different maltsters do it differently, but... Uh... 7.15 alcohol. Mm. Oh. Uh, so it's toasty. Keep you warm. Definitely on a, a, a warmer in terms of day. alcohol, but uh, medium pretty well integrated. High, medium mm -hmm. high mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, the really nice toffee caramel malts yeah. and good hops. You don't really find a lot of Northwestern citrusy hops in, in many winter beers, right? But, but um, this one definitely has it. Wow, for a winter beer, uh, maybe it's just that it's kind of hoppy. I, I, I really like it. Yeah, it's nice. It's like an American amber ale. 
Western hops almost. Yeah. Kicked up a notch? Kicked up a notch. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Warm up with a cold one. That's very nice. It's a, good, know, it's I, a good way to put it. I like the whole burr. Uh, I mean, on the label, it looks great. It, yeah. It is kind of awkward to say, though. I'm going to get some burrs. Get some burrs. <laughs> I'll have the burr. Uh -huh. Yes. It's a very nice, and again, uh, and I like to go back to um, to the transitional beer uh, uh, type uh, brews, because we've had a few that, like, uh, we, we, we talked about the Avery 15, not a transitional beer. You know, I think you'd really have to be a good beer drinker to, you know, I mean, into it. Really a unique flavors. This is, I think, a transitional beer, I think. Don't you, don't, wouldn't you agree? I mean, it's one that would be... I think it'd be a little challenging on the from, intermediate from a stuff, like like middle school, yeah. not really like elementary school, but middle school. Yeah, I mean uh, without without making it without dumbing it down. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I, I just it's it, to me it goes down easy, and I guess if it goes down easy, then I sort of feel like it, that anybody should be able to step into it without it, going. Oh, it, goodness! It, what it was definitely that? it definitely yeah. has a hoppy finish, yeah. which I think is beautiful. I, when I have a, a nice beer, I want to know that I've had a beer, and I want to experience the, the finish. But a lot of beginners in craft beer. Uh, that that hoppy bitter finish is a little bit of a turnoff at first. Right. It takes it takes a while to get used to that. Mm -hmm. It's not too. It's, it but, doesn't linger too long though. Um, but it's not nearly as intense as some hoppy beers are. Yeah, I mean, if you were gonna like maybe rank it on uh, sort of a or give it some reference scale, I mean, if you compared it to Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, uh -huh. uh, I think the Pale Ale actually Sierra Nevada Pale Ale actually kind of stings for a little mm -hmm. longer. Right here, this is definitely more hoppy, I think, than bitter. Mm -hmm. um, and plus, you have a balance of the nice caramel malts here. So, a lovely beer from Woodburn. Yeah, it's lovely. Very nice. And thank you uh, for the folks at Woodburn Brothers. They actually sent this uh, to us uh, to, so that we could try it for this uh, particular vlog, and we appreciate it. I think we all enjoy it very much. With the little two from it's thing our gift, here. exactly. So I, you I feel like I should send tag. a thank you note. Right. Yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> right, exactly. Thanks, guys. So we thank you for sending this uh, to mm -hmm. us and for trying it. So, oh, and we should also point out it's got groovy glassware. Widmer has uh, stepped it up a notch with their glassware. Yeah, I like to point like, this out. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's one of those yeah. aesthetic things that, that uh, it's very most of us, when we get into the brewing business, uh, can't really afford to buy custom glass. Right, right. Like the, the Brooklyn One had that beautiful uh, Brooklyn, oh, Brooklyn one, yeah, boss right. thing yeah, on yeah, the yeah, glass. Exactly. Yep. You know, so, I mean, when you buy uh, glass like this, you got to buy enormous quantities. Right. So it's pretty distinctive. When you get to the level where you can actually have your own mm -hmm. bottle made, it's pretty cool. These guys recycle, are, recycle. These guys are doing there well. They can, yeah. they can afford this. Yeah, that's beautiful. Right. Well, they've done well um, over these uh, past years. I mean, a long time they've been in this business, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody seems to be familiar with them out of Portland, Oregon. And uh, I'm sure you can get their beers probably throughout most of the country, wouldn't, wouldn't you think? Uh, nationwide. Nationwide. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But so. if you ever go to the brew pub, you can have 50. You know, a ten or so beers that you can't find in the bottles around the, the country. They make them really special there for the for the small brewery, and it's definitely worth a visit. Cool. So, Owen, thank you again sure, for thank joining you. us. We appreciate it. Thanks John, for having me. Uh, so, for BeerAmerica.tv, if you have any questions or comments, please call at BeerAmerica.tv and. Uh, that's we had, your the, turn we had the nice musical finish there. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, well, there's a lot of Buster Keaton going on behind us. So go ahead right, and, right. Uh, and pink at BeerAmerica.tv. Questions, comments, uh, throw them our way. Beers, throw them our way. We're happy to talk about any beer, any American mm -hmm. craft beer that we can get our hands on. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, John Pinkerton on Facebook. Uh, Paul Leone on Facebook. Kind of friend us up and uh, and let's chat. Let's be friends. Face me up. Yes, there you go. Right. I actually so, just set up my Facebook account this I know, morning. I know. See, we're not really that old, although we are. So. <laughs> my anyway. unfrozen caveman brewer's mind so, uh, does not understand these. David, good, you, good for you, too? Yes, all right. So cheers. Right. David, da again, David didn't like it, you can tell. He didn't, uh, he didn't like it at all. Cheers. Cheers, happy and happy holidays. holidays, everybody. Another good winter beer. Happy holidays. Beer.